Brisk northwest winds, there's a cool down in temperatures, work in progress, and low visibility. Jonathan Kovac and Timmins, thanks for tuning in on this midweek Wednesday, October the 7th. It feels like October for sure. Low visibility, Timmins, Capus Casing Airport, saying less than two statute miles. Looking northwest from the City Hall webcam in Timmins, we cannot see Camas Scotia Ski Resort. That's a perfect example of how the visibility marker does work. The barometer was on the way down last night. It's on the way up this morning, which allows for the potential for mixed precip later on today as the temperatures cool down from the low double digits to the cool single digits. Plus eight in Matheson this morning, plus three at Moosonee. Gives you an idea how cool down, how that cool down is working. Upper level disturbance hidden by my border here. One low pressure system with a long frontal boundary wrapping itself up from Atlantic Canada back towards the eastern half of the prairies. Cool Arctic air is sitting within this bowl right here. High pressure spins clockwise, low pressure goes counterclockwise. The isobars are a good indication of the northwest winds are digging in towards northeast Ontario. Now the barometer dipped down to 29.35. It's now on the rise and brisk northwest winds gusting to 30 plus kilometers an hour. On last night's show that I broadcast very late, we had the cold front north of Highway 11 with the warm air aloft from the southwest and the cool air from the northwest behind it. As of 6 o'clock this morning, the cold front is sagging further south allowing the cool air to infiltrate all the northeast Ontario. So I do recommend to keep the winter parkas and all the rain gear handy throughout the day for today. Here now is a brief look at the observations and the forecast alerts.